this is legitimately kind of painful. I live with my boyfriend and he works from home, so I get literally the five minutes that he walks the dog to film and do things and the pressure is really making me fumble the bag like my words do not want to come out in, in any sort of cohesive manner so pray for me pray for me please today's post slash video I, I can't help it i'm so used to writing posts that post just comes out of my vocabulary naturally in today's video i'm going to be showing you one of my favorite hacks that i've discovered in recent months you know, recent months since all this quarantine crafting because Melbourne is in her second wave shutdown. So love that for us. As soon as we get into the video, the door goes and my dog is going to run over and interrupt in like 10 seconds. Typical, actually typical. No, 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 please leave her, leave her, leave her. No, no, no. no. <laughs> What's she doing? Anyways. What I was trying to say before we were so rudely interrupted, I found this really easy DIY hack to make ridiculously cute plant pots that look really expensive, that are not very expensive. It takes about, I don't know, not even 20 minutes of your time and it's real fucking cute. So I'm gonna stop talking because my boyfriend is literally restraining my dog right now and I'm gonna show you how to make it, cool. The first step is really, really simple. Once you've picked your paint colours that you're after, and these do need to be acrylic pour paints, if you don't have pour paints specifically, you can actually buy a pouring fluid that you can mix normal paint with, but I find that way more expensive, so I recommend buying pour paint specifically. So once you've decided what colour of those you want, you need some sort of cylindrical jar that you can tip them into. Disposable cups work great for this, by the way. Basically, the method we use is we pour the paints into the cup or whatever you're using and then tip it upside down so anything that would work for that purpose you're good to use as long as you don't mind paint getting all over it now the biggest tip i kind of have is just when you're pouring the paints in don't layer it if you layer it you're just gonna flip it upside down and get one big blob of color it's gonna look real ugly so i recommend squirting each color into each corner so that the layer has all the colours that you want and then you can kind of mix it around a little bit if you want you can add like a dot here or a dot there I always end up going in with multiple cups worth of paint though so I find you naturally get some variety that way as well obviously watching me pour paint you don't get a feel for how pretty it is turning out so here are some clips of just what the paint actually looks like once we've poured it onto the plant pot it is so vibrant and so pretty you can kind of see the way that the colors all meld together and i think the monochrome one just looks so damn chic and more importantly so expensive all right mates let's have a look at how they turned out so as you can see they dried up bloody gorgeous the acrylic pore paints have this really lovely glossy finish so it just looks really high quality and it literally glimmers in the sun which i love unfortunately my videography skills aren't banging so the monochrome one doesn't look as good in the camera as it does in real life but it is still got that glossy finish and i use a lot of like metallic silver tones as well so it literally glistens in the sunlight love it love this method love how these turned out honestly can't recommend anything more thanks for watching have a good one